people are scared and they're confused and they and they're reaching for what I call our true humanity like ET was reaching for home within us is the real knowing of who we as human beings are and we're we're trying to be that that these things that are part of our very being if we can understand that you take what you have and you use what you have and make the most of it just make do and it's been a, such a helpful thing you take what you have and you make do you shared your whole career beautiful and radical ideas this this notion that medicine can be flipped from killing to living that we could put love in the center of it and we could recognize that the healing comes from the inside i think these messages are just transcendent and not be afraid of love is it's the very essence of our being and if we can accept it and share it and not try to you know you can't save it it's it's an energy you don't save energy you have to use it if you don't use it it dies the life really really needs to reach out to other people and we need to understand how life gets stuck try to find joy and happiness find it, find something that makes you laugh really got it <laughs> laugh not not something mean but something that really makes you feel like oh that's really really funny and look for that kind of of reality in your lives and then spend time looking for what i call the light you know i kind of see myself walking along with a flashlight in the dark on my path and it's dark and i can just go as far as my flashlight takes me but as i'm walking along sometimes there's a on the side of the path there's a, a light that is not very bright it's just kind of shimmering if i shine my light over there all of a sudden that light be becomes great in other words as we reach out for each other as we're walking along and we see each someone else who's struggling and we reach over just with whatever we have you know my mother's make do whatever there is there whatever the uh, opportunity is and you use it and you work forward with it uh you you're you're helping people in ways that you know not see i have i've come up with what i call five l's the first one is life and love without life there's nothing you know you can be a, a seed in the great pyramid for 5000 years and no nothing happens until love which is light and water and so on softens the shell and the light and the seed opens up and it grows life and love are one unit they work together they it's like a pregnancy when a mother is pregnant she and that baby are one unit they what she eats the baby eats what she thinks the baby thinks it's a constant process but that that aspect of reality that is that baby that is being nurtured and and grown within the womb doesn't really find its own identity until it takes its first breath and then it becomes who it is it takes the reason why it's coming into this earth so it's this reality that life and love are un one unit and that as we work with each other that way we can really understand aspects of ourselves but aspects of, of the world around us and as, aspects of other people too the third one was laughter laughter without love is cruel it's mean it, it takes families apart it it has caused wars you know laughter can be cruel but laughter with love 
is joy and happiness. The fourth L is labor. Labor without love, love is drudgery. It's, it's, you just gotta go to work. You just gotta do this. But labor with love is bliss. It's why you, we singers sing, why painters paint. It's why I do what I do. It's why you do what you do. It's what makes our heart sing. It's that inner aspect of our being that is, comes alive. And, and we'll work five times as hard as we were when we were dragging ourselves along with the drudgery thing. And the fifth one is listening. Listening without love is empty sound. It just doesn't make any sense. You don't understand. But listening with love is understanding. So these five L's have been very helpful for me in structuring and understanding the, the philosophy and the life that I'm working with. Because we really don't understand our own power. See, I have this kind of idea that when God created this earth, whoever God is to whoever you are, is it was it was he created the earth and it was beautiful and everything was in place and what was the way it should be. But then he created the human being and he said to us, Now you are the only creatures on this whole place that have the right to choose and have free will. So therefore I give you dominion over the earth and we being who we were decided that what he meant by dominion was dominance. And so we've taken over the earth and done what we darn well choose with it and look where we are. So it's that reality that within us as human beings, I think that like E.T. who was reaching for home, I think that in the inner part of us, we're all reaching for our true humanity. <laughs>